man, I ain't going back and forth with no man. I talked to B Slime, man, and we talked to Slime and Sell Slime. Say Welcome back to Industries TV, and today we still talking about Young Thug, Gunner, and the rest of the defendants. So before we get into this video, make sure you smash that like button. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe with post notifications turned on. Now it has come out that Young Thug did not tell Gunna or the rest of those defendants to take those plea deals against him. Now I've been a lot of people stating that this is part of a plan. Young Thug told them to take the plea deal because they could do more on the outside for him than they could do in there with him. Now one of Young Thug's people stated that he spoke to Young Thug and Thug said no, he did not instruct them to take any plea deals against him. And I ain't going back and forth with no man. I talked to B Slime, man, and we talked to Slime and Sell Slime say he ain't told no to take no deal. Slime say he said he ain't told no to take no deal. Y'all been told on Spider. Spider ain't told nobody to plead guilty to the nanny. All that, which I, whatever y'all talking about, boy, listen, bro, y'all told on Spider. We're going to keep it real. Y'all told on Spider. Spider ain't told y'all to do nothing. So it looks like Young Thug is on his own when it comes to this Rico case. Now, me, I don't blame these dudes for taking plea deals. I wouldn't want to sit in the jail cell for 20 to 30 years either if I could get out and be with my family. But that's just me and my opinion. Now the YSL Rico case starts January the 9th and out of the 28 defendants charged, eight took a plea deal. Six are not ready for trial, four of them don't have lawyers, and the other two have not been arrested. 14 defendants will take it to trial. Now lawyers for workers gave an update. So let's check out what he had to say and then we gonna come back with our commentary. Let's go. YSL update. So the trial is scheduled to start on January 9th. Jury selection is starting this week. Now, how many people are actually going to trial? 28 people in the original indictment. Eight have cop pleas, so that leaves 20. Of the 20, six of those people will not be going to trial on January 9th. The reason why? Four of them don't have lawyers, so they're not ready. The judge is gonna separate their trial from the rest. Two have not been arrested, so you can't put people on trial who haven't been arrested. So you're left with 14 people who will go to trial. Jury selection starting this week, trial starting January 9. We'll see if we can get you guys a rundown of the details of the charges that they're facing, the charges that have been pled out, and we'll follow along with this trial to see what's going on here. As I said from the beginning in this trial, I thought that a lot of the evidence against Young Thug would get thrown out. Evidence was thrown out against Young Thug, and I thought that they would use the pressure of locking people up with no end in sight to get them to roll on the people that they want. And it's pretty clear that that has been their strategy. We'll see what evidence they actually are able to mount and what the charges look like. Stay tuned for the YSL update. So now that y'all seen that and heard that, stroll down to that comment section. Tell me what y'all think about this crazy situation. Do y'all think Young Thug is gonna blow trout and get 20 years? And do y'all think Gunna is gonna fold? on his stand is he going to testify and snitch on young thug we just gonna have to wait and see so with that being said make sure y'all smash that like button and if y'all not subscribed to this channel make sure y'all subscribe with post notifications turned on